Hey, how are you going? This is Digital Byte Computing. Today we're going to look at how to install Windows 10 onto macOS Mojave. So here we are again. We are going to install Windows 10 onto the new macOS Mojave. So this is the new operating system released by Apple and we're going to install Windows 10 by Microsoft. So you can actually run that boot camp um, on your computer and actually have your Mac and your Windows running side by side. So you can actually boot up your Mac and start in Windows or start on your Mac and use the full resources of your Mac hardware on Windows or the Mac. So it's really, really easy. The software comes built in standard on your Mac, which is brilliant. And this is how we do it. So here we are on our Mac running Mojave, as I said, and I've got the Windows 10 ISO. All right, so you're gonna to need to get the ISO of the Windows 10 installer onto your Mac first. So if you do have a DVD or a CD of the installation, you'll have to convert that into an ISO. Um, fairly easy to do, there are tools to do that. Otherwise, you can get the ISO in various other forms. You can download it from the internet through the Microsoft portal or other places as well. So this guide does go over how to install it from this ISO, okay? So you need this ISO to be able to install Windows 10 the way that we're gonna go through in this tutorial. So first thing we wanna do is we wanna open up a program called Boot Camp. The easiest way to do this is to go into your spotlight search on your top right corner and type in Boot Camp. And you'll see that Bootcamp Assistant automatically has popped up here. And I just go ahead and open it up. So Bootcamp, essentially what it's going to do is it's going to partition your hard drive, right? So your, your Mac will have a hard drive inside of it. And you're going to portion a bit of that hard drive, partition a, a, you know, a portion of that hard drive for Windows. And this is what Bootcamp will do. It'll do that partition and then it'll go through the process of installing the operating system. Click on Continue. The next thing is you now wanna select where the ISO is, okay? So we know that it's on the desktop, so you're just gonna go and navigate to the desktop and select your Windows 10 ISO. That one there, Windows 10 Enterprise. Okay, so you'll see that it's listed in here in ISO. And now down the bottom here, I've got the area where I can now go ahead and partition my hard drive, all right? So you're going to need to provide at least 40 gig for your Windows installation, all right? Really for a Windows installation, you want to give at least 40 gig um, to be able to install the, the operating system and any necessary files. If you have more space available on your Mac, you give that more space to your Windows, all right? Now, I've only got eight gig free on my Mac. Um, I, I've run out of space, unfortunately. But keep in mind that once you've partitioned your, um, your, you know, your hard drive here, it's gonna be very difficult to make your Windows installation partition larger in future. So if you decide to go with say 80 gig, for example, for your Windows installation, and then in, a year's time, you've run out of space and you want to increase it, you're not going to be able to do that quite easily. So just be mindful of how much space you want to give your Windows installation right now. So for the demo, I'm going to do 40. You give it the size that you need it. All right. So we're going to leave it as 40. And we're going to say install. I'm going to ask you for your password or my fingerprint in this case. And it's now gonna to go to the Microsoft website slash Apple, and it's gonna download the necessary Windows software, um, uh, support software, the drivers, all of the stuff that it needs to be able to um, install the hardware, uh, like the drivers of the hardware on your Mac within Windows, right? Because Windows generally will not understand a lot of the components of a Mac. It has to go and download the necessary software, and necessary drivers to be able to go and install it. So this will take a little bit of time depending on how fast your internet connection is. But once it's done, we'll then proceed on to the next step. So if all things have worked correctly, after your Mac hard drive is partitioned and all of the drivers and software have been downloaded, your Mac should reboot automatically and you should be presented now with the Windows setup screen. So this is the setup screen for Windows 10, and you really just wanna go through these different prompts uh, and install your Windows as you would on any sort of PC. 
So I'm gonna you know, select the language, the time zone, etc. We'll leave that all as the default. Click on next. Read your license agreement and accept it. So it'll start to install Windows. It'll start to copy the files and we will check back once we are further down in this process. So it should have gone through smoothly, hopefully, and then you're presented with the Windows configuration screen where you essentially just follow the prompts. We're just gonna do the express settings. You can actually go and customize it further if you really need to. Windows will log in and then we're now presented with a welcome to the bootcamp installer. So this is going to essentially install the software and the drivers that Windows needs to be able to run uh, properly uh, on your Mac. So just go ahead and follow the simple prompts and install that uh, lot of bootcamp drivers and installers. So Windows will reboot and you enter in your username and password and you just log in. And that is it. So you now are within Windows. Now you can automatically boot back into Mac or Windows by starting your Mac up and holding down the option key on your keyboard, right? So the option key is the one in between the control and the command keys. I'll show you how to do this. So if I restart my Windows installation, and hold down the option key. You do this as your Mac starts as well. And if everything works well, you're presented with the option of one or the other. So you see you're presented with Windows or Mac. So I can boot into one or the other. By default, it's gonna go into Windows. So I just wanna select Mac and click on the arrow and then it'll boot into my Mac OS. So here we are back on the Mac logon screen. Uh, we have logged in, we've got Windows installed, and what you can actually do, which is really cool, is if you go into System Preferences, which you can access from your dock, or by going into the Apple logo into System Preferences, you'll have an option here called Startup Disk. And from within here, you'll see that there's two options listed, Bootcamp Windows and your Macintosh hard drive Mac OS 10.14. So by default at the moment, it's gonna boot into Windows by default. So if you, if you turn off your Mac or if you restart your Mac and you start it up again, it's gonna boot into Windows. You can actually change the startup option by unlocking it and selecting the other, uh, the other one here. So I'm gonna unlock it, select my Macintosh hard drive, and that's it. So now I can close out of this. And now next time when I reboot my Mac, it's gonna boot back into the Mac operating system, nice and easy. So that is how to install Windows 10 on your Mac. We are running Mac OS Mojave. Love it if you commented below. Let me know what you think of this video. It does help me and I'm happy to comment back. And uh, please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you found it helpful and we will talk to you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel Digital by Computing just on the button there for more videos.